Hey, welcome back again, Pastor Phil. Just taking a minute to redirect our attention back up to our great God. And today I want to take you into a couple verses that are super meaningful for me and kind of give uh, something of a rhythm to my life. And so I hope they'll be a meaningful deposit to you. It's in James chapter 5. James chapter 5. And, and in these verses, we're challenged to do three things that I think make all the difference in the world for us. And so he starts with some questions. Look at these questions. James 5, verse 13. He asks, is anyone among you in trouble? And, and there he doesn't mean like in trouble, like you got grounded by your parents kind of in trouble. He means in distress, under a trial, in a challenge, in the midst of a, I don't know, worldwide pandemic and, you know, shut down and sheltering in place and, and uh, so many things in your life being pulled away from you. Anybody? Anybody? That's all of us, right? So is anyone among you in trouble, struggling through something today? Well, let them pray, he says. That's your answer. Is anyone happy? Anybody happy? I know I have a lot of reasons to be joyful and happy and rejoice today. Then let them sing songs of praise. So two questions. Are you struggling? Pray. Are you happy? Praise. And then he goes from there. He says, is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church and pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer that's offered in faith will make them well. And the Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, this is the third thing, they'll be forgiven. And therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Because the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Say that part out loud with me, wherever you're at. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Sometimes we think that that prayer is kind of meaningless. It's a moot point. Why do I even do it? I'm just uttering words up to the sky or to the ceiling. Who hears? God hears. And so we're challenged here in whatever circumstances of life that we're going through, trouble, sickness, happy times, that we can bring those to God in prayer in three types of prayer. First, he says, if you're struggling, pray. Bring your requests to God. He wants to hear them. So pray. Secondly, if you're happy, he says, praise. Praise. Shout out Praise to God. Rejoice in Him. Sing your hallelujahs. I mean, anytime we see something awesome, we praise it. You know, I saw this awesome game-winning shot in the NBA playoffs the other night, and it's just like, man, that's incredible. And you praise it. When you see the Grand Canyon, you see a beautiful sunset, you see your, your spouse, you think, man, that's beautiful, and you praise it. And that's what God says, is when there's reasons to praise or be thankful, joyful, Praise God because he is the giver of every good gift. So praise him. Maybe that's through song. Maybe it's through just prayers of praise. And then the third thing that he brings to us is he says, listen, if you've sinned, if you've fallen away, then confess your sins to God. He's faithful. He'll bring you back. He'll forgive you. Three types of prayers that I want to challenge you to step into today in your prayer life. Maybe you don't have an hour set aside in a prayer closet in the morning, but maybe you need to carve out a few minutes for something, some quiet time to just sit and be with God. Maybe it's on your morning commute or in the car. Oftentimes I'll just turn the car radio off or, or the music off or the podcast off and I just have quiet to sit and talk to God and listen for His voice. Bring your request to Him in prayer. Bring your praises to Him. Raise your hands. Maybe don't close your eyes if you're driving. Just an idea. But praise God for who He is, for all that He's given you. And, and we miss so many of the good gifts that He's given, but praise God for all the gifts He's given you. Sing songs of praise. Get a good Spotify or you know, music playlist that'll usher in that praise or, or pull your heart up to, to redirect your eyes on the Lord and all that He's given and praise Him for that. And thirdly, if you've been struggling, if you've been sinning against the Lord, if you've had temptation kind of calling you in, then confess it to God. And he says here, don't just confess it to God, but confess it to someone else because there is power, there is healing in confessing to others. So invite somebody else in and say, hey, you know, friend, I've been struggling here. I've been giving in here. And look at that, those eyes looking back at you and see the grace of God looking back in that face. Prayer praise, confession. What in your life can you up the game this week? 
to bring those prayers, to, to have more of a praising heart and life and vocabulary, to have the boldness and courage to confess some things to God and to somebody else that you trust and know loves you and loves God in your life. Prayer, praise, confession. Bring those to God today. And my friend, keep looking up.